Hey guys, Kaz here. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hey guys, each and every year I have a garden in my front yard. Most of you know this, but if you don't know it, uh, I, I have a garden in my front yard. And it's not a real big area, but you know it's enough to where I can get enough stuff in there and kind of you know supplies me for the summer, uh, some of the fall, and uh, a little bit into the winter time. You know, I really pack it in tight with plants, uh, vegetables, peppers, green beans, tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, uh, spinach. Uh, usually that's most everything that I do, but um, you know, I'm just cleaning up this year. It's Memorial Day weekend, and uh, I'm actually, uh, you know, cleaning it out and getting ready to put my plants in there that I started back in March and April from seeds and a few things that I bought from the greenhouse, but there's something I want to show you, so let's take a look. So right here, before I start to till up my garden and pull all of this junk out of it, um, what I usually do is take a quick look and see what's in my garden. And the first thing I notice right here is that there's a, a carrot plant that came up unexpectedly from last year. So that's really cool. And I put this stake here so I don't, uh, don't actually accidentally remove it while I clean out this this mess here and then the other thing that I noticed is that it looks like this right here could be a lettuce plant that came up from last year it um, it doesn't look like a dandelion but even if it is uh, dandelions are edible and very resourceful so uh, uh, if it's a dandelion that's fine but what I also noticed is is that very similar to this plant there's a whole bunch of them right here in this nice little packet. And I'm very, very curious to know if these are lettuce plants because they certainly do look like lettuce plants to me. Um, they don't look like dandelions, although they could be. But my estimation is that it's some of the lettuce seeds that I had in last year's garden kind of sprouted on their own and uh, the carrot did too but uh, just really excited to see that uh, it's kind of started on their own but uh, I'm going to try and save these somehow try and dig around the main root and then uproot them and then see if I can plant them back into the garden and just see what happens with them I'm really really curious to see what they are uh, I don't think they're dandelions like I said but when the garden is complete, I will show you then just what exactly I have in the completed process. So I went through the patch of lettuce that was there, and I went through and picked out uh, a majority of uh, the amount of plants that were there. And uh, on the piece of paper towel that you have in front of you, there's about 60 plants alone. And not to mention what's in the colander that's in the sink. Uh, there's about 15 plants in the colander that are of a larger size than the ones that are on the uh, paper towel. But, um, you know, what's amazing is there's probably still at least 40, maybe 30 to 40 plants, lettuce plants, that are still in the garden as I have them now. Um, and it's really, really densely populated in that little patch there. So I'm going to leave that alone and just see what kind of happens. And uh, hopefully... The ones on the paper towel here I want to transplant along with the ones in the colander are going to go right into the garden today, but the ones on the paper towel are going to go in tiny little planters to see which ones make it and which ones don't. Um, you know, my guess is that all of them should make it, but I, I, I guess we'll see. But uh, anyway, i um, going to get back to the garden. All right, guys, so here's the finished product of my garden here. I just want to show you everything that I got in here. And I uh, want to take a step back just so you can show you that I don't have any bushes in here. Like I said, uh, when I moved in, the management allowed me to take the dying bushes out, and uh, I decided to put a garden in instead. So um, here's what you got. It's a uh, 5 foot by 11 foot section right here. And here's a quick view of everything that's in here. I've got, uh, it's either 51 or 54 plants in this little section. It's 11 foot by 5 foot. 
so it's in there pretty tight and uh, I just want to show you the the lettuce that was coming up by itself and that's this right here and uh, I was able to um, I took a few of the big ones and I uh, pulled those out of the bunch but uh, I think this is really cool that this uh, lettuce came up by itself from last year that's awesome and just want to show you the other section over here I put some uh, sweet peppers in that planter I put some green bell peppers in that planter uh, my two maple trees that have been growing this will be the third year and uh, here I have some plants that are left over got some peppers some lettuce and some spinach that's left over and then here's the smaller section of my garden this is about uh, four foot four foot wide by two foot wide and then this section here is about five feet back much like the other side is so uh, on this side I've got uh, five eight oh about 16 plants or so I got carrots broccoli and tomatoes on this side only um, I might put some more in when these boards come out I might put one or two more in but these broccoli plants are gonna get pretty big but uh, it's a quick overview of my garden like I said I didn't do any seeding videos this year because uh, my seeds did terrible this year um, my initial planting I only got 30% response and so I ended up planting in stages so uh, there's no point in videotaping that but I uh, hope you like my garden um, more of like an urban setting so uh you know instead of growing grass and bushes i grow vegetables so hope you like it